So my name is Gabriel Alvarez and I'm just a firefighter here. Technically I guess a first class firefighter, meaning I've been here for more than three years. And then uh, in the Army I'm a critical care flight paramedic. Uh, the Army did, uh, kind of. So I, I started in the Army National Guard uh, right out of high school, and it was as a combat engineer initially. So that came first, but the new gig in the Army was a little bit after I actually got to the Tumul Fire Department, and I became a flight paramedic. So both. I'm a very cliche individual when it comes to uh, the jobs that I take and the reasons. It's It really is the whole to help other people, to serve a higher purpose, all that kind of stuff. That's, that's why I'm in the fire service, uh, among other things. Uh, it's really all just about being a good member of our community locally and then our community as a whole for the United States, I guess. Initially, I wanted to be a combat engineer. That's what I wanted to do. It sounded cool, blow stuff up. The rest of their mission sounded kind of cool too. Still get to be a grunt, kind of. No one persecute me. I know I'm not actually a grunt as a combat engineer. Uh, but that's that's a lot of it. And then kind of now, also kind of true. But flight medics, there's, there's some deviations, other places that you can do something similar, but there's nothing quite like it, so. Di more directly, uh, quite a bit. I mean, obviously, as a as a firefighter specifically, we do a lot of uh, medical calls. So uh, I'm a flight paramedic, so I get a lot of medical training through the army. Uh, pretty top tier as a as a flight paramedic. Not to mention the people that I work with uh, are really good up there, and they're we're all good about challenging each other and making each other better as well. So uh, on the medical front. It's extraordinary how much overlap there is and how much benefit there is back and forth. And then on the rest of the side, operationally, there really is a lot that I can can and have learned from the military and specifically that flight job that I have as a flight paramedic. Uh, just from coordination and uh, planning and being prepared, all those different aspects. Uh, I guess it prepares me pretty well for possibly future endeavors in the fire service here. and obviously the medical side that I mentioned. Yeah, the, the skills kind of correlate. Uh, like I was saying, I, I learn a lot that bleeds directly over, bleeds fairly closely over. Like I was saying, the communication aspect, uh, a lot of the air crew coordination training that we do is really relevant in the fire service, I think, too, just because they're similar environments in a way where it's a smaller group, in our case, completing a complex task and everyone's got their own roles and then also everyone should be looking for that work, looking to support other people as well. So uh, I take a lot away from it really, uh, between like being explicit, uh, like I said, knowing roles and uh, communicating, making sure that we're offering to help each other when we need to, hunting, hunting for that work, so to speak. Uh, there's There are a lot of things that bleed over other than just the medical skills. And then on the medical side, there is definitely a lot from like assessments. But as a BLS service here, we don't get to do a whole lot of interventions, uh, but we still learn basics too. So we, we learn to be better providers by having that advanced knowledge and looking at those assessments. I absolutely feel honored to serve both the community locally and my country as a whole. So that's, like I said, that's one of the big reasons that I do it, as cliche as it sounds. Uh, there's tons of benefits and those, those were cool going into it, but a lot of the reason that I work in the military uh, as a National Guard soldier is for that, to, to serve the community and to do cool stuff too. I mean, that's probably the most personal thing that I get out of it. Do cool stuff. I like doing that.